Daily Bible Thought starts out a couple of exciting weeks of In the Beginning. So when I was praying and I just didn't have peace about any of the Bible verses I had settled on, and I guess it's because I settled on them, I was praying and I just, all of a sudden, God gave me the idea of doing the Genesis story, the beginning. And our oldest son was like, I was just about to suggest creation. So that was confirmation and then just getting into it and reading it again. It's amazing. God created everything out of nothing. But you don't have to take my word for it. I'm going to read from the Bible. So Genesis, the very first verse. So if you've never read the Bible, this is how it begins. And you can read it for yourself. Genesis 1, verses 1 and 2. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. So God was present before the world started. God always has been. God is a forever, eternal, without beginning or end being. It's, a, it's something we can't fathom because we are locked in time. The earth and we have a beginning, a fixed point in time where we started. And in this case, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, he created them out of nothing. If we make something, like I like DIY stuff, I'm not very crafty or handy, but I can do some stuff. And I mean, you can make something if you have the tools and if you have the materials you need. One time our pastor did a sermon on creation and he said, um, just got a challenge for anybody here in the congregation if you could make something out of what I have in this box. And he opened the box and he said, you can't use the box. And inside the box was nothing. And none of us, no one, no scientist, no anybody on earth, no inventor could create something out of nothing. It's not possible. And you have to start with something to get something. Well, God doesn't have to. God can start with nothing. He had nothing and he made everything out of it. So this is the first verse, and I would challenge you guys to read Genesis for yourself. It's not hard. You can do this. And pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you, just as the Holy Spirit was hovering over the waters at the beginning of creation, at the beginning of time for our earth. Just like that, the Holy Spirit wants to enter our lives and help us understand the Word of God. Because the Word of God transforms us, and it starts in the beginning just believing in God. So if you don't, or if you're not sure, then Genesis is a good place to start. It's a good beginning.